They do not eat sugary food, avoid food cooked in oil, and have a negative inclination to salt. Not to mention the scary thought of daily insulin injections. I tried the drill myself, perhaps to dispel a childhood fear and fit into the shoes of a person managing diabetes. But in an effort to understand further the condition diabetes, we meet Regina, a bubbly spirit, confident and in her 20s, who lives managing diabetes facing the condition fast threatening a low middle income country like Kenya. I'm a type 1 diabetic. I've been a type 1 since 1999. Please, a roller coaster. Because some days the, your sugars can decide, okay, we're doing good and it's a good day. Other days they just decide they'll be haywire, they go bad. Plus also some people are not really understanding. She divulges her story, going into detail how she and her family managed living with a child with diabetes type 1 in a while she described a void of proper knowledge that led to her family to change their lifestyle but into school where lack of knowledge was simply manifested in childlike arrogance. It affected them not only psychologically but also health wise. They had to shift how they've been eating, their eating patterns, they had to stop sugar. Like mom was like, no, all of us are going off sugar so that she doesn't feel like she's left out. 20 years is no mean feat to manage a condition, especially mentally. Regina describes to me how psychologically this impacted her as well as financially. I take four injections in a day, and of those four, it's three different types of insulin. Yeah, so one of them that in a pen form that I take before bedtime costs just one box costs around twelve thousand. Yeah, the others cost around five six k. Taking a visit down to Kenyatta National Hospital, we meet a diabetic specialist and he breaks down diabetes both in types and signs and symptoms. We have type 1 diabetes, which is mostly an autoimmune disease. It affects young people from the age of up to 25 years to 30. And this is solely because of lack of insulin, absolute lack of insulin. These people require insulin for their survival. And then type 2 diabetes is more of what we used to call the adult diabetes. People having excessive thirsting and therefore they have to drink excessive drinking of water. And then they have excessive urination, they run to the toilet several times. Some of them who are big in body, they lose weight tremendously. And then they have eye, eyesight problems, they are seeing blood visions. A stingling and uh, numbness of the feet and the, and the hands. Type 2 diabetes, most common of the sugar disease, is characterized by telltale signs of knee amputations of blindness, a fact alluded to late treatment. He adds that lack of awareness is contributing to the increase of diabetic cases. For young people used to die of diabetes, ketoacidosis, DKA, uh, thinking it is just malaria. Because somehow this, the symptoms of diabetes, they mimic uh, malaria and other, other conditions like typhoid. Mm -hmm. So I would want to imagine these days, since we have more of uh, sophisticated uh, processes of and procedures of diagnostic, then you're able to pick many. Mm -hmm. But at the same time also, lifestyle has changed more than it has toward before. World Health Organization on Diabetes in Kenya states that the prevalence of diabetes type 2 is a 3.3%, that is more than 460,000 people live with diabetes in Kenya. The number is expected to rise by 4.5% by 2025, that is about 600,000 people. But it begins with screening. We need to have um, systems where we screen people where people can walk into a hospital and they are screened. As it is for now, we don't have those services that we need to change our lifestyle. Eat lifestyle, uh, I mean eat well-balanced food and do physical activity and manage stress, 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 stress levels. The World Health Organization in celebrating World Diabetes Day announced that it has started a pilot program to pre-qualify human insulin for treatment of diabetes. 
which according to the health body will increase options of insulin and lower the prices of insulin. This perhaps will see affordable health coverage a reality in Kenya. 14 million people die annually from non-communicable diseases, with diabetes being a major contributor. Now, diabetes type 2 remains the most common, but can be largely prevented through proper diet and exercise. Kristen Kamau, KUTV.